Goodbye, everyone. We're live in five, four, three, two, one. I just wanted to go stay all day. Rose all day. Rose all day. I just want to go stay all day. Oh, I love that from Bobby Newberry. Rose all day. Oh, I don't know that song. It is Rose Friday. We're getting into the spirit around here. Oh my gosh, kid, we should we should do this every Friday. I think it's every Friday. I wore a rosé dress just to match mm. the wine. And does it I'm rose just saying, by the end summer? of the show, I may not know what's going on. <laughs> Listen, I love nothing more than Morales goes deep. One cocktail, she is wild. Here's the thing, it's summer water to me. Like, it goes down so easy. Yes. It, is. it is. It's hydrating. I it think is. it's hydrating. It is, I know. I so. What does the color mean, and how do you pick what to pair it with? Yeah, we're gonna. We have an expert here. She's gonna tell us what to look for. By the way, we're enjoying rosé all day, Woo. and coming up, everything you need to know about this pink drink. Which kinds are the best? What, what to pair them with? Right, and what about the bubbly kinds? Winery owner Catherine Hall is joining us. She's our expert next. Doesn't it go well with everything? Oh, it goes well with <laughs> water. I just want to do rosé all day. Oh, yes, that's what we're doing rose. here, rosé, all day. Or I like that most. Friday. There is nothing like a quick glass of rosé or summer water during the heat of the summer. Well, Ventner and best-selling author of A Perfect Score, The Art, Soul, and Business of a 21st Century Winery, Catherine Waldhall joins us now with three different types of rosé and some perfect pairings with the food. Catherine, so nice to meet you. So Cheers. nice to meet Cheers. you. Happy rosé day. Thank you. Now, yeah. what are we drinking here? What are we starting with? So, so we have three pinots we're going to try. This okay. first one comes from up in Sonoma. I love this one. You're going to see it has a very sort of a rich color on mm -hmm. it. Um, it's made from a Pinot Noir grape. It uh, has it's sort of sweet, uh, the, a lot of flavors of strawberries. Ooh. I don't know. See what you think. What can you tell by the color of the rosé? Because I see sometimes they're very red, almost like bordering on a very light red. Right. So what does that tell you? So in general, it tells you that the uh, when they made the wine, they mm -hmm. kept the uh, juice on the skins longer. Oh. And generally, if you see a wine that has a lot of color in it, it's going to have maybe a little more fruit flavor in it. A little maybe, sweeter, maybe? Maybe a little sweeter, okay. but not necessarily. Like, you'll see this one. This you, one's really great. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. What would you pair this with, food-wise? Oh, mm. well, you, since you asked, I just happen to have. So I have these lovely little slider things over Ooh, here. they like yeah. salami and yeah, cheese? Yeah, salami and oh, cheese. Oh, that looks good. And then we could put a little of this stuff What about in burgers? There. What goes good with a burger? Oh can my you God. Do, I feel like oh, yeah. you can pair rosé with anything, right? You can pair rosé with anything. That's why, actually, it's so perfect, mm. because you can also never go wrong with a rosé. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, it's like there's no bad rosé in my mind. So when but, I go to the store, recently yeah. I have a friend in town. I went to get rosé. What am I looking for? Hmm. Well, I'd say... What you want to look for first is, do you want to get something that's sort of fruity, or do you want something drier? Mm -hmm. um, if you want something fruity, I'd probably try to get something with a little more color in it. A little it. more color, okay. A little more color in it. Yeah. And then the ones we're going to try later, you'll find when they are lighter in color, they're more mineral. Let's taste. try those. Well, I like come this on. One. Let's move down. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about price point too, because it's all over the map when it comes to rosé. I feel like yeah. I've been to Trader Joe's. You can find some for four ninety nine, mm -hmm. but then you can also see they go upwards of you know forty, fifty bucks. Oh, huge! So does it yeah. matter? Does price really matter? Well, I it matters. It does. But you can find so many wonderful rosés for not much money at all, and okay. really you can't go wrong. I mean, the thing about you know how people talk about on wines that you have to study it and think about it a lot, and mm -hmm. and that's true for some wines, but on a rosé, it's a, it's made to be enjoyed. What it's is this wine? By the way, I love this decanter. Isn't that great? Yeah. It's like a piece you know, of art here. The look matters, too. Yes, I mean, true. That's what all about. It does. Presentation. So um, this is a wine from France, mm -hmm. uh, from the same grape as the last one we oh. had. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. So, so good. it's more, it has more mineral qualities mm -hmm. to it. It's a little bit drier and not, not as much fruit on it. And so that's why we tried to mm -hmm. pair this with this like nice, rich goat cheese. Oh. Well, we need you know, some of that to go rich. with it. So this this winery is up on. in Napa, which, we are. I mean, what's, what is the difference between a French rosé and a California rosé? Rosé. Ten, California rosés tend to have a little more fruit on them. Mm -hmm. They sort of have this illusion of sweetness, whereas the French ones, and we'll have another French one next, they tend to be a little bit drier, a little bit more mineral, have more minerality. Oh. Well, Catherine, yeah. sit tight. We're going to try the last one. By the We're way, rosé, it's very hydrating. It's like water, oh, right? Yeah. It's summer oh, yeah. water, so it hydrates that. your body. You can do anything on rosé. You have got it. <laughs> yeah. 
Much more with Catherine coming up after your local messages. <laughs> it just flows down so easy.